Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August. So this is for August. This is being recorded in July, and a lot of you will be watching this in July, but I'm here to tell you that this is for the month of August. So I suggest that you come back and watch it then. It probably hasn't happened yet. I'll get some people that comment, no, this isn't for me. Well, August hasn't happened yet. Plus, the timing is fluid. This could happen in September. It could be happening in July. But this is a preview of what's to come. So let's see what we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August. What do we have for August for Capricorn, please? Please show me what we have for Capricorn. Ooh, judgment, judgment. So this is a card of, it says truth, but it's also a card of karma. You may be, judge, be being judged this month. So, because this is the judgment card. So this is about um, being put on trial. Truths being revealed, being held accountable for your actions. That's what's happening this month. Okay, so this is about um, the truth coming out, a spiritual awakening. There could be an epiphany. There could be a wake-up call here. Somebody may be getting, an awake, getting a wake-up call. Um, this is a life-changing decision. It's a final decision. Are you ready to be judged? Will you be accepted? This is an awakening of some sort. Um, it's, it's the final call. Okay. It's the final call. Will you be accepted? Because some sort of responsibility is going to be assigned for your actions. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is some sort of truth being revealed, um, being judged for your actions. So yeah, you're going to be judged for your actions this month. Um, keep in mind that I am Capricorn moon. So this is also a card of karma. So there's some sort of, um, now this is also a resolution, okay, coming to the, to the end, okay, the trial is over, it's time for the decision, it's decision time, okay, it, the trial is over, whatever that means, you've, it's done, the, they've done all their deposition, you know, it's time for the judgment, it's time for your karma, good or bad, okay, it's time to, you know, for the sentence, per se. Let's get some of these. What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, I'm going to take that one. What do we have for Capricorn? This is a wake-up call. It's the end of things as well. It's the end of the trial. Marriage! It may have something to do with marriage. Okay, this could be a resolution of a marriage or something like that. Um, because this is, judgment is an ending. It is, you think about judgment day, it's, it, it could, you know, it's an ending. But it could also be um, a renewal. This could also be some sort of renewal. This is also somebody from the other side. Judgment could be somebody from the other side that is guiding you. But this probably has something to do with a marriage. Okay, this could even be a reconciliation. It, it could be. Um, something to do with a marriage. Finger. Warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. So there's going to be a problem. Wheel. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Cat. A two-faced friend. It could, you have, you're dealing with somebody that is two-faced. Okay? This is somebody that is very two-faced. Uh, we have a cat here. It could be a Leo. Could be a Scorpio. Um, something to do with a marriage. We have some rings here. Um, a final decision. Somebody may be getting married or they're getting divorced because judgment is court. You could be going to court. Okay? In August. You're dealing with somebody that is definitely two faced. Um, you've got a problem that is coming. A problem is definitely coming. 
So be prepared for that. Um, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. There's something that you need to stabilize. You need to stabilize your life in some way. It's not as stable as you think. You're definitely dealing with somebody that's going to cause you problems. You got somebody that pretends to be a friend. This is a two-faced friend. A two-faced friend is somebody who is a friend to your face and lies behind your back. Okay? You got somebody here that is um, deceptive, put it that way. When they look at you or when they talk to you, they're all nice and sweet, but they, they put you down behind your back. Okay? Probably a Leo. I just want to keep, I don't know why, I, 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 it's either a Leo or a Scorpio. Um, hmm. What do we have for Capricorn? This person's going to cause you problems, or they're causing you problems right now. Three of Swords reversed. Now, leave, this is leaving the past hurts behind. There's There's been some heartache. There's been some grieving. But this is on the path to recovery. Three of Wands. So, this is getting, getting, somebody's been getting prepared. They've been getting ready. Definitely has something to do with a marriage or a commitment of some sort. This person is now ready. Okay, they're ready. Somebody's coming. Okay, somebody is coming. Somebody may be coming for forgiveness. Okay, because this is forgiveness and this is forgiveness as well. So somebody may be coming for forgiveness or they may be asking for forgiveness or you may be asking for forgiveness. There's there's forgiveness in both of these cards. This person is coming. They're, they're ready. They've been getting prepared. Knight of Cups. I feel like this is the Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a little bit different. This is the Page of Cups. This is this is um, somebody. Now this could be somebody brand new. This could be an admirer that is coming in. This could be a crush. Somebody that is love struck. This is expressing feelings of love. You could even be getting an apology from somebody. This person has been getting prepared. Some of you are getting married. Okay? Some of you are going to be getting married this month or getting proposed to or something like that. There could be a proposal here. Now, the story, it's going to change because there's multiple facets to a month. Okay? But a lot of things happen in a month. I think that you you um, get prepared for an arrival. This could lead to marriage, okay? Or get prepared for to, to something to do with marriage. Um, this page of cups is love, okay? This is this is um, love struck, showing feelings. This is happy news. Eight of, an obstacle is being removed. Eight of Swords reversed. There's been some sort of obstacle that has been blocking somebody. But that obstacle is being removed. You could be falling in love with somebody. This is about acceptance. Acceptance of an ending as well. Eight of Pentacles reverse, not putting in effort. Somebody may ap be apologizing for not putting in effort, for not trying hard enough. They were trapped in their head. They were trapped in their mind. They weren't thinking clearly. Maybe it's you. This Three of Wands is, is get prepared. Somebody is coming. They're, they're, they may be a little bit reluctant but, reluctant, but they're hoping for the best. I feel like um, you're on the path. You're on the path to recovery with a person. You may have been dealing with a two-faced friend. What that was um, impacting you. They were causing you problems. They were. They were causing you problems. Somebody has been causing you problems. But that obstacle is being removed. Whoever that two-faced friend is being removed. Because this obstacle is being removed. Interesting. I mean, and 
It could just be a lack of clarity. Somebody may have been stuck in their mind. They may, may have been stuck in, stuck in fear, trapped in fear. But this is following a heart, opening a heart, expressing love after not putting in effort, not trying hard enough. Four of Swords reversed. Now this is extremely exhausted, extremely tired. We may we may have somebody here that wasn't putting in effort because they were um, being haunted by the past, or they were um, tired, they were overwhelmed, they were overworked, they um, were sick. They may have been sick. There could be some sickness here, some sort of illness. Three of Pentacles. Now this is working together. I think there's been a third party situation here as well. Because we have three, three, three. So we have a third party situation here. I think that there's there's been uh, one too many people involved. But one of these people is the obstacle is being removed that allows you to... Some sort of truth is coming out about this person that allows you to move forward. It does. You may have been reluctant to move forward or the person that you were dealing with was reluctant to move forward. Somebody was, but I think now there's some sort of truth coming out that reveals who you were dealing with and it it, it, um, it basically shows you the way, okay? Um, it helps you to break free from this mental conflict. You've been um, rambling aimlessly because you were in some sort of, and you were indecisive because of some sort of um, obstacle, some sort of obstacle. And maybe it was a marriage or something to somebody else. Um, this Three of Pentacles is about teamwork, working together. Um, Three, three, three is your prayers have been heard. It's about growth. It's about change. It's about removing what no longer serves you and healing. So I do feel like you are are doing that. You're removing what no longer see no longer serves you, and you are healing from a situation that probably made you sick or made you ill or made you mentally ill or made you depressed or caused you to be exhausted you know it, it brought you some mental conflict you were involved in a situation that brought you a lot of anxiety per se but i feel like you are somebody it's almost like somebody is coming to help you know some maybe you have started dealing with somebody that is helping they're helping you to open up. I think you've been closed off. You've been, you know, not wanting to open up, but I think whoever this person is, is helping you to open up this month. Oh, there's the end of a contract here. This, the lover's reverse is the end of a contract with the wrong one because there's a choice. There's definitely a third party here. And I think one of the third parties is leaving one of the third, the third, the, the false contract. Okay, there, you've been dealing with somebody that you're not compatible with. There's been a disconnection. There's been, you know, a one-sidedness. Now there's a broken relationship here. And it could be a broken marriage or something like that. That has been an obstacle for you. It has. It's been an obstacle. And if, it, or it, may, it may have been a broken um, love contract or whatever that caused you some sort of mental conflict, right? Um, there was a third party. There was a third party that 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 uh, has stopped you from accepting something, because that is accepting accepting the truth. But I think you're going to be working with somebody. You are going to be working with somebody that is going to help you. That is helping you. This person is helping you. Make you, probably making you feel more alive again. Mm. Now this is the end of a contract. It really is. With the third party. And the decision is being made. So a decision is being made to end a contract that has kept you stuck with the third party. This is uh, leaving the past hurts behind getting prepared getting prepared for love getting prepared to follow you've been something has been happening here 
oh, queen of, yeah, the other woman, the, the other woman. So the other woman, it's a fire sign, it's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This other woman, and whether it's in your life or the person you're ta we're talking about here, it could be somebody else, there's another woman, okay? There's a third party here that is um, very, very forceful, very, very self-righteous, um, very needy, very um, melodramatic. This person has their own agenda, very controlling. This person is the one that is being removed. The contract is ending with this person. They're detaching. This is a detachment from this person. It's a fire sign. There's a detachment from this person. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Gemini. But there is definitely a detachment from an individual that was very, very um, manipulative. This person is unhealthy and revengeful and definitely a gossip this is the two-faced person this person is the gossip that, that that talks behind people's back there's a detachment from this person this month whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with somebody's detaching from this individual who has kept them trapped kept them stuck it was a false contract it wasn't meant to be it was there was no compatibility here but this person may have been very sexy and they knew it and they used their sex appeal as a tool. So anyway, get prepared for this person to cause some problems. But I think that, that the truth comes out when you realize what this person has to say and it helps you to break free. It helps you to leave this person behind. Ooh, you may be celebrating. You may be celebrating. The Nine of Cups is a card of having it all. Walking away, walking right into wish fulfillment. So you are. you By leaving this past person behind, you are headed towards wish fulfillment. You're headed towards wish fulfillment. Okay? So get prepared. Get prepared for wish fulfillment as soon as you... Um, leave them past hurts behind. Leave this manipulative, controlling individual... Um, that has been keeping you trapped in mental conflict. This person has been playing with you, okay? This person has been playing with you by saying all kinds of nice things to you, and the minute they stop texting you or get off the phone with you or get out of you, get out of your sight, they go talk about everything that they said to you in a different context with somebody else. You're going to see it, too. Something is going to happen, and you're going to realize it. You may end up, I don't know if you're going to court or what's going to happen, but I think that you're going to see who this person is. Somebody may tell you. Somebody may tell you what they've been saying. But this page of cups is, is an admirer. Get prepared for an admirer to come in. Or for you to grow a relationship with somebody else that you haven't been putting yet, you haven't been putting effort into because of this person. This person was manipulating you, or vice versa. This is this is somebody that is very very forceful. Likes the control that they had over you. They may have been jealous of you. They may have been saying, you know, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do this. And maybe you were listening to them. Don't listen to them. Honor yourself. Honor your own truth. I think you have a new opportunity here with somebody. This is this could even be a reconciliation or somebody that, you know, you passed up because of this manipulator. You have an opportunity for wish fulfillment with somebody that is very, very real. Okay, this is a golden opportunity. Could be, would be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, like yourself. This person um, is goal-oriented. They're real. They're genuine. They're a hard worker. They're looking, they want to build financial security with you. They want to build something secure. They're offering you something stable and real. I think that you are going to be uh, dealing with an individual that, um, is really, really genuine, but you have to make a call. You have to make a judgment call. That's what this is. It's a judgment call. 
Do you want to continue to deal with somebody who's been keeping you mentally trapped by saying all kinds of fake things? Or do you want to be honest with yourself? You definitely have a third party situation here. If you think about 333, 333, your prayers have been hurt. It's like the universe has brought in you a perfect match, but you are still holding on to the wrong one. Or you're letting your own fear with this Eight of Swords reversed stop you from moving forward with the right one. Or this person that you are dealing with is instilling fear in you or they're playing games with you. You know, they're saying all kinds of things because they're jealous. They don't want to lose that control over you. But the first card out is a three of swords reversed. This is leaving all the past hurts behind. It's releasing pain. Okay, and falling in love with somebody. So I, you know, I feel like you are, you are uh, falling in love with somebody, you know, and I think you're dealing with somebody that you're probably going to marry, but it's not the one that has been controlling you with their fake lies because the eight of swords reversed is lies. They've been telling you lies. They've been, they have. And it's probably because they don't want to see you happy. This is extreme happiness. This person is so jealous. They don't want to see you happy. Because they're miserable. Misery loves company. Whoever you're dealing with is probably mentally ill. So anyway, I think that you are probably going to be uh, working with somebody else. I think you are. I think you're going to be working with somebody. You're going to start to put in effort. Um, whereas you weren't putting in effort before. You may start to appreciate the one that has um, been giving you, you know, affection a little bit more. Ooh. Emperor reversed and the Ace of Cups reversed. Oh, my God. So the Emperor reversed is very, very, very controlling. Uh, somebody that deserts you in the time of need. Um very much doesn't want responsibility, not interested in helping. This is criminal activity, somebody that is only cares about themselves, very, very power hungry. You are dealing with a very power hungry individual that is not very experienced but thinks that they are. This is somebody that is on the wrong side of the law that um, is not emotionally available. Now, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a father, and I'm just changing it a little bit. This could be a father that didn't really take good care of you, that could have impacted your ability to um, make the right choices or something like that. Um, because this is a father that, that, that didn't um, express emotion very much. May have been a hunter. Okay, this person um, was very, very authoritative, didn't really um, express love that caused you some sort of, you may have felt neglected, that may have caused you to choose somebody in the past that didn't love you because we tend to, you know, that's what we do. We tend to choose people that, you know, mimic our parents. So you may have chosen somebody that... Um, you could prove yourself to because you, you felt like you had to prove yourself to your father, or, you know, and you never could or something like that. But anyhow, um, I think that time in your life is over. I do. I think that um, I think it's also going to be a very emotional month for you. I think that you may be expressing some tears. You may be expressing some tears um, because there's something to do with... Um, Well, we have a separation here because of this, this right here, this right here. The lover's reverse is a separation. You may, you may be really feeling it. You may be really in your feelings. Um, you may not be able to master your emotions. Okay. You may not be able to master your emotions this month because you're going to have to accept some sort of truth about a person that has been uh, lying behind your back. But I have to tell you, you have somebody here that is emotionally supportive that really, really cares about you and you should probably give them a chance. It's 
Some of you definitely had a father that didn't put in a lot of effort. Father didn't put in effort. This father may be ill with the Four of Swords reverse, could be sick. There's definitely going to be a separation from a very controlling individual who only cares about themselves, very, very selfish, and loves the control, loves, clings to control. This person is very arrogant. But you're going to be leaving that behind. Get prepared for some news, and it may be good news to you, okay? Because the Page of Cups is good news, but it's also very emotional. So get prepared for some sort of news. Hmm. One more card. One more card. Oh, the tower reverse. It's a permanent loss. This is this is a permanent loss. This is this is you somebody could have some extreme health problems. They could collapse, okay? There could be a fight. Um this is a painful change that you never saw coming. Or something is going to happen that is very destructive to you. It's a very it's going to cause a major disturbance. It's definitely going to be emotional. Um somebody could be moving. It could be a change on the home front. Um this is probably going to come as a surprise. When you whatever it is it has to do with this person. It's going to come as a, it's a fire sign. It's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. This person um, is going to um, cause some sort of uh, extreme uproar in your life. Okay, which is going to be quite shocking to you and it's probably going to really hurt you. I'm sorry. But you're also going to. Uh, leave it behind. You are going to leave it behind and you are going to be happy again. Maybe this is what you've been wishing for because the prayers have been heard with 333. Whoever this master manipulator is, they're about to lose their power. This is the loss of power for that person. They have abused their power and they're about to lose their power. And this could be, say you're, you're watching this and this is about your person. It could be their, their other person. It could be their, per, their, whatever it is. There's somebody here that is about to lose their power over you or the person that you're there with. You're with. Get prepared for a major life change. Put it that way. Good luck.